cards. Our correspondent Greg McKenzie is with me now. Uh, Greg, just tell us a little bit more. Well, Ben, what we know is that uh, this six-year-old schoolgirl was uh, setting about writing her Christmas cards to her friends and family uh, when she discovered one of the Christmas cards in this £1.50 box of cards from Tesco had already been written in. It was in block capital letters, and it was a message uh, purportedly from prisoners in, well, a prisoner in Shanghai. Now, the message simply read, please help us notify human rights organisations. Now, a Tesco spokesperson and has said they're shocked by the allegations and they are, of course, investigating it. Now, they say the factory that produced the cards was only checked last month that it hadn't gone against the ban of using prisoners uh, to, well, forced labour. Ultimately, they said that, that the factory was checked and there was no evidence that this was taking place. So they're quite surprised. They've also said that they donate over £300,000 from their Christmas charity cards to various charities in the UK and, of course, are investigating. Now, what's more interesting, Ben, is that in this message also it asks for the recipient of this Christmas card to contact a journalist called Peter Humphreys. Now, he was actually jailed in this prison, the uh, Ching Puyu jail in Shanghai some time ago and he has said that uh, he then looked into this after the family contacted him and he says he contacted ex-prisoners who've confirmed there is forced labour taking place at the jail. Now we know this prison has hit the headlines many years gone by. Only 2012 there was allegations prisoners were being forced to make Halloween decorations and only last year uh, two uh, huge fashion outlets were accused of using prisoners at this jail to make their clothes. Okay, Greg, thank you very much. Greg McKenzie reporting.